Janelle here with Waypoint Realty and I'm here to educate you guys about what is happening in 2019 in this market. We are halfway through the year and it's time for a little recap of what's going on. Depending on the market that you're in, you have probably seen your home prices either stabilize, decline a little bit, or go up. That is literally what it's doing depending on the community. We see really, really high priced homes stabilizing and even in a smidge of a decline. But we wanna make sure you understand that the level of appreciation has declined. It's not appreciation. If you purchased at the right time, you already have equity in your home. So it's just about the level of appreciation increasing and the steady rate at which it's doing it or it has stabilized. So I hope this makes sense. Some people are concerned about the market tanking and going down again, but most properties at this point have seen some appreciation if they have purchased in the last five to 10 years. We are definitely seeing that they have equity in their homes. So we wanna make sure that we're clearing this up. This is not a recession. We're on a 12 year high. The market has to stabilize in order for buyers to purchase. So now let's talk about first time home buyers and what's happening. First time home buyers are actually not completely back in the market. It's actually very scary for them because most can't afford what's out there available right now. So far in 2019, first time home buyers only account for 31% of the sales. That's statistically lower than the 40% that is traditional for first time home buyers. What is the reason these first time home buyers can't purchase? There's actually four main reasons. The first one is student debt. Student debt has actually tripled over the last decade. This makes it really difficult for the debt to income ratio for these first time home buyers to actually get into a property because they owe so much. Now there's ways that lenders have been able to get around it, but it's definitely causing issues for first time home buyers. Number two is that starter homes are in short supply. Most builders and developers that are building right now are actually looking towards higher end homes. Most of these homes, they start out at the, the high fours, fives, sixes, sevens, even in the millions. First time home buyers cannot afford that. Traditionally, they're in the low 200s. So we, there's just not a big supply available for them at this point. The third point is that affordable condos and townhomes that would normally be available to first time home buyers are not FHA approved for the most part. It's very difficult. And unfortunately, first time home buyers typically go the FHA route. So that actually leads us to point number four, which is credit score. If their credit score is too low, they can't really get conventional financing, so they opt for the FHA. FHA has more limitations than conventional financing, so we see that this is also a struggle. Now, the credit score regulations have actually increased, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for first-time home buyers to purchase a home. We have to make sure that as first-time home buyers, you have enough save for a down payment and for your closing costs. There's also miscellaneous fees that people don't consider, like moving cost, uh, rehabbing a home, if that's something that you wanna do, getting it move-in ready, whatever that means to prospective buyers. Interestingly enough, one third of all recent home buyers actually had down payment assistance, but from family members. So if you have family that's willing to help you out with that down payment, that could be a really great opportunity to get you guys into your first home if that's something you're looking to do. The market we are seeing that has stabilized, we see in certain areas that it has gone into a decline. You have to understand that as a homeowner, you may still have a lot of equity in your property. It's just not going up as fast. And as an entire market, we don't wanna see that increase at a rapid rate considering we're on a 12 year market high. If you have any questions about the market, please feel free to contact us at 407-801-9914.